students how are you today my name is mrs gloria onuche your agricultural science teacher today we are looking at the topic fisheries by the end of this lesson you should be able to define fishery Number two, mention five types of fish and draw them. Number three, list the parts of a fish. Then number four, classify fish based on habitats and morphology. Now, definition of fishery. Fishery refers to the management and production of fish and other aquatic animals then fish is an aquatic animal with backbone fins and gills fish belong to the group of aquatic vertebrates that is they have backbones and they are specially adapted to live and reproduce in water the streamlined shape of their body enables them to move easily in water. Then, they also have their balance in water with the aid of swim bladder. And they use gills for respiration. Now, look at uh, the structure of tilapia fish. Look at the, uh, the nostrils, the eye, the head. Then look at the gills. They have nostrils, but that is not what is used for respiration. What is used is the gills. Then there are fins. Look at the fins here. We have the anal fins, and we have the soft rail uh, fins. They are used for swimming. Then we have others like the pelvic fins. We have the lateral lines. That is the scales on the, I mean the lines on the body. Then we have the scales, and we have the fin rail. We have the dorsal fin there. To uh, dorsal fin, we have it uh, the uh, spiny and the soft rail fin together. I mean fins. They are called dorsal fin. And this is the opaculum. Opaculum is the one that houses the fins, I mean the gills. Opaculum is the one that houses the gills. Now we have types of fish. This is catfish. Then we have the croaker. Then we have the dogfish. Then we have the tilapia, and we have the perch. Now the classification of fish. Fish can be classified into two, based on number one, habitat. That is the dwelling, based on the dwelling place of the fish, or based on the natural home of the fish. And the second one is the morphology. That's the structure of the body of the fish. So they are classified based on their habitat, where they dwell, and the structure of their body. The first classification, that is based on habitat. Uh, I have told you habitat is a natural home or dwellings of an organism. So based on habitat, Fish can be classified into two. Number one, freshwater fish. They are fish that can successfully live and reproduce only in salt-free water. That is the water that do not contain salt. That is where this one can live and survive. Examples of freshwater fish are... Um, Tilapia, we have the catfish, we have the Nile, 
We have the mud fish, we have the dog fish, we have the moon fish, and so on and so forth. Also, uh, the freshwater bodies are found in ponds, in lakes, in streams, in rivers, and in swamps. The number two uh, classification based on habitat is saltwater fish. These are fish which can live, uh, the fish that can live and reproduce successfully in saline water, that is salt water, like the lagoons, the oceans, and the seas. Example of those fish are dogfish, shark, croaker, sole, and mackerel. Then the second classification, that is classification based on morphology now, we have the bony fish. The bony fish, these are the fish that have the structure of their bodies made up of bones. Examples, we have the tilapia, calves, catfish, croaker, mackerel, etc. Then the uh, second group is the cartilaginous fish. These type of fishes have their, the structure of their bodies made up of cartilage. It's made up of soft bones. So examples, we have the dogfish, rays, shark, and the rest of them. Then cartilage, like I said, is a type of dense and non-vascular connective tissue that is usually found at the end of joints, ribs, nose, ear, and in the throat. Now what we have uh, learned so far is that fisheries refer to the management and uh, production of fish and other aquatic animals. And fish is an aquatic animal with backbones, with fins and gills. Also fish are found in water bodies like the uh, the lakes, the ponds, the streams, river, oceans, uh, lagoons, and swamps. Some examples of fish are catfish, mudfish, mackerel, tilapia, croaker, etc. Fish can be classified based on habitat and morphology. That is based on habitat. We have the fresh uh, water and the salt water fish. And based on uh, morphology, that the structure of their body, we have the bony and the cartilaginous fish. Now, take your assignments. Number one, mention five places where we can find fish or fish ponds in Nigeria. Number two, draw a large diagram of a tilapia fish. I hope you enjoyed yourself today. Have a nice day and make sure you do the assignments. God bless you.